I'm Ben Brockert. I work for Armadillo Aerospace. Uh, Armadillo is a Dallas area company working on reusable suborbital uh, launch vehicles, uh, starting with doing science payloads uh, initially to lower altitudes and then working towards science payloads into space to do microgravity experiments. But we're also very much uh, focused on flying people to do you know, full suborbital flights on a full you know, authentic rocket that launches off of the ground and flies into space and comes back down. Uh, a lot of work has been with, uh, in the past with uh, vertical takeoff, vertical landing. Uh, the company started on you know, doing small peroxide rockets and has moved up to doing you know, liquid oxygen rockets, you know, running hydrocarbon fuels, um, doing everything just like the big rockets. Uh, right now we're, we're trying to launch a, a rocket to high altitudes out of uh, Spaceport America, which we're hoping to do in the, in the next couple of weeks. And uh, this year we're also planning on getting the first version of our uh, passenger carrying rocket, uh, at least the, the propulsion and tank system and all of that together and working and starting to do flights. So uh, we also contract for NASA. Uh, we build them landers, which is an interesting position to be in. Uh, we've sold, essentially sold them to you know, moon lander analogs so far. Uh, Armadillo also competed in the Lunar Lander Challenge, uh, won first place in the level one and second place in the level two. And uh, we also work with Rocket Racing League. We build their propulsion system. So uh, for uh, essentially, you know, rocket, rocket planes flying around, chasing each other, and, uh, and all that entails. So. For those of our viewers who don't uh, know, how long has Armadillo been in existence? Armadillo was incorporated uh, 10 years ago uh, in January of this year. So, you know, just about 10 years old. There was some work on it before. Uh, for most of its history, it's essentially been a hobby group with John Carmack uh, providing the, the funding for doing hardware, but everyone else was just doing it as a hobby, essentially, on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, John still comes in on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but everyone is now full-time. And then uh, last year, they hired me on from another company. So. Uh, just gradually expanding as we, you know, need more people to do more things. Who is John Carmack and how did he develop an interest in uh, space? John Carmack, uh, he wrote uh, basically every major uh, first-person shooter game of history, uh, Doom and Quake and uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, all of these games he came up with and wrote the, wrote the, the, the engine that runs them. Um, it works, he works at a company called id Software. Uh, and then just like you know, many people who are in software, you know, into science fiction and all of that stuff, also inevitably interested in space. And so he found the local uh, amateur rocket club, basically, and took all of their best members and uh, started doing you know, bigger and better things. Started out in an industrial park and, and tested rockets there until the neighbors complained too much. And, the, and now we're out, uh, essentially, we took over a small municipal airport uh, in the exurbs of Dallas. Uh, where we can do all of the rocket testing we want, except for high altitude, but we can do flights and we can do engine testing, all that stuff, and our, our neighbors are now used to it enough that they don't complain about it anymore. So, uh, But uh, he, he recently sold the company, uh, uh, id Software, to another company called Zenimax, and uh, through that has kind of redoubled his efforts into the company. So uh, we're actually operating you know, less with him than, than it used to be. So it's, it's, it's kind of taken a life of its own at this point.